Alright, hey guys, welcome to the How to Program series. Today we will be programming Silent Night 5208, 10 Zone, 4 NAC, 4 Relay, Conventional, Fire Alarm Control Panel. So, let's get into it. I'm going to be using the Annunciator for this. It's literally the same thing. It's There's nothing different about this and this. They both turn on when I do programming. This literally mimics what's going on right here. But anyway, let's get into programming. So to get into programming, you're gonna be you're gonna want to press your up arrow. And keep going up until you see program mode. So for you guys, it's probably gonna be just four ones. Or one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. But for me, since this is used, it's a uh, different code, so I won't show it though. Alright, and we're not in program, what the heck. There we go, and you guys literally saw it. Alright, so we're in programming mode. And it wants you to program zone 1, zone 1 options. So let's go through zone 1, location, zone 1. It's basically going to be like that for all the zones, locations. But on the computer, you actually program the names, so it's going to be different for zone 2, and so on. Type, you can scroll between fire, not used, external silence, External reset, AC delay, water, cold, heat, undefined, supervisory, water flow, and fire. So, disable. That is telling you, do you want this zone to be disabled? No, you don't want this zone to be disabled. If you want to be disabled, just use your arrow keys to scroll through yes or no. Zone 1 response, so response time, that is what it is, response time. So if you were to get a pull station, right, you hook it up to zone 1, then you pro you programmed it to a uh, 1 second delay. Pull it, panel waits 1 second, then it goes into alarm. You can go from anywhere to 1 second to 40 seconds. Verified options. So that is for smoke detectors, pre alarm, enhanced smoke, cross alert. Cross alert, you guys won't be needing that. Interlocks, either manual or release. That's for your sprinkler. So I'm just going to have that set to none. Zone 1 auto silence. This means, do you want the panel to automatically silence that alarm after a specific amount of time? I have it set to no, you can go to yes, or no. Manual silence, meaning you have to silence it by yourself. Yes. And no, I have that set to yes. Zone 1 knack. What Next, do you want zone 1 to activate? I have that set to 1, 2, 3, and 4. To change it, say you just want it to activate zone, or NAC 3. Just press 1, 2, and 4, and it only activates that. If you want it to activate nothing, nothing. And if you just want to activate 1, maybe 2, and 3. But not four. You can do that. But for me, I want it to activate all four necks. Zone one relay. What relay do you want that? No. What? Yes. What relay do you want zone one to trigger? I want it to trigger relay three. It's the same thing as what we just did. You could make it relay one, two, or three, or four. There's four relays, all of which are programmable to whatever you want. 
and that would be zone 1. To scroll through zones, press silence, and then these will go next to the zone. So, to get to zone 2, just press your other arrow, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's only if you have a expansion module. And to not get that, you just press silence again, and then you can go to your other stuff. So now MISC system. Pre-alarm time. How much time you want for pre-alarm. I don't want any pre-alarm, so I want zero. You could also change it to nothing by pressing count. But I'm having mine to zero. And sound pre-alarm. No. You can do yes or no. I have mine set to no. Auto silence after 60 seconds. No. No auto silence. Latch supervisories. You can do yes or no. I have it set to yes. Class A zones. Any class A zones. 1 through 10. You put it in. You have 5 for class A. Just do 0, 5. Or not. Or you can do 10. If you want. Odd. Uh, anyway, just have that so it's nothing. 5235 keypads. That is your enunciator, which would be this fancy device right here. So, that's how many enunciators you want. You'd have up to five of these enunciators in one building. So, if you wanted, uh, five of them like everything else oh six sorry guys uh so yeah i only have one so that's what it is 5217 expanders that is your zone expansion module so i have none of those so it's set to nothing and that would be misc system nac one cadence that would be your coding options, and for some odd reason, this panel will only let me scroll through constant output, which is continuous, march code, which is pulse, so it's uh, like code 3, but pulsing instead. There's no 3, it's just temporal, or not temporal. This would be code 3, single stroke. California code, not 100% sure what that is, and constant output, I just have mine set to constant output, there should be synchronization options, but nothing on here, and just like everything else, you press silence, and then you get the brackets, and you can go through 1, 2, 3, and 4, and press silence again to not. So, to get to the next thing, press this button. NAC options. So, silenceable NACs are 1 and 2, which is what this is connected. This is connected to, I believe, 2. Yeah, this is connected to 2. So, I'm just going to make it 1. Usually it's one, two, three, four if you want everything to silence, but I just I'm doing a little setup here. Fire knack. These are for fire purposes. All four knacks I'm using are for fire. Pre alarm, it's none. Ox, none. Water flow, which is all of those. So if you're zone, you program something as water flow, all four knacks will go off. Supervisory knack, none, cross alert, lease, cross alert, B, lease, B, trouble knack. Oh, knacks with EOL. It's usually 1, 2, 3, and 4. All four knacks should have EOLs, and if you're doing this in the field, they must, so you have to have that at 1, 2, 3, 4. But since I don't have enough resistors, I'm on a resistor shortage. 
I'm using it on the, on the zones, so it's not supervised. Fire drill neck, how many necks, or what necks you want to activate on a fire drill. All four. Then relay options. I'm gonna make another video on relay options since this video is running pretty long. So I'm just gonna end the video off here and do a part two in a few minutes. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.